This is your Fan Requested Friday winning video. So congratulations to you guys, the viewers, for voting on this one. Gunter Schlierkamp. Gunter FIFA Schienerbato. Sounds like a song, the beginning of a song. Gunter, he is your uncrowned Mr. Olympia champion, 2002. Right? You guys believe that? Yeah. Well, wow. Not out of the realm of possibilities, because Gunter, of course, did defeat Ronnie King Coleman at the Show of Strength, just right after this Olympia event. His opponent, Andrew Jacked, he got 8th at the Olympia. I'd be inclined to believing that some people would suggest that he is an uncrowned Mr. Olympia champion. Probably a very small percentage, though. But this is a very interesting comparison. Stop what you're doing right now. Please do me a personal favor. Hit hit thumbs up on this video right now. And you're going to do yourself a personal favor. You're going to have all of the other requests played. And there are some interesting ones. I've been wanting to see that Sean Ray versus Lee Haney matchup for years now, guys. Years. So get this video up to 500 likes. Easily done. Look at these two specimens. These specimens. Six feet plus, probably six one. Andrew Jack and I, I believe Gunter. He's, he's probably over six two. He's a giant, three hundred pound. No, I don't think Andrew Jack's three hundred pound. But I, I notice I take the S away. But I don't think he needs to be that big. He does not need to be three hundred pounds. He has aesthetic flow much better than Gunter. But Gunter, he packs quite a punch, guys. Look at the separation in the wheels. He's not the prettiest horse in the stables, but neither was Ronnie Coleman, and that's probably why he got an edge, especially when Ronnie was small. He, he, It was easy pickings, but that was the show of strength. This is the Olympia. He was still good at the Olympia. I don't know, guys. This is not the best Andrew Jacked at the finals from the Olympia. Too bad we didn't have a pre-show front double. Still very aesthetically pleasing. Here is the Gunter Schlierkamp 2002 show of strength. There wasn't a good front latch spread from the Olympia. But he was pretty good at the Olympia, guys. And he was maybe slightly better here at the show of strength. Hard to say. Hard to say. These two are dropping bombs on each other. Look at the condition. Look at the lats for Gunter. And look at that showroom condition and sheen. That just unbelievable finish. Of this Andrew Jacked. Just perfect. The abs throw everything together. Mm -hmm. Close guys. Very close. I mean these two dudes. Neck and neck going into the side. And here is where I may decide to lean towards Gunter. Gunter is shredded guys. Look at him from the side. To say that not too many people would disagree on Gunter being better than Ronnie King Coleman in 2002. I mean, he has to be serious, right? Well, he is. Take a look, guys. Tie-ins, glutes, quads, hamstrings, and look at that big man manly chest. He, uh, Andrew Jack also has a big man's manly. But I don't know if it's as big and as manly as Gunter. I like this Gunter Fishy Mana model. I like this guy from the side. Go to the side tricep. Cancel that. I like Andrew Jack better in the side. I like Gunter's, uh, the silhouette of the torso. That's about it. I like that. It's it, it swoops back. But take a look at the detail. Andrew Jack's midsection goes up to the big booming pectoral region. Look at the pecs on Andrew here. And the reason why I'm giving it to Andrew is because of the arm. It's boys versus men. Gunter... I mean, yeah, he had some parts about him that were not the best. Of course, keep mentioning Ronnie Coleman. His, his side tricep wasn't the best either. So he kind of, he was a perfect opponent for Ronnie. Or Ronnie was vice versa, a perfect opponent for him. Let's have a look at the back. Gunter, the dude was 300 pounds. But did he, did he really need that extra badonka donk Look at that great big lard arse. Look at the big buttocks on the guy. That is a huge horse's arse. That's a big butt. That's a big butt. But there's another butt. He is very strided, very conditioned in the hamstrings. Maybe not so much the glutes, but neither is Andrew Jacked. 
I would say Gunter may be more conditioned in the uh, the hamstrings. But when you look at the rest of the back, Gunter, Gunter is getting flatlined. He's getting destroyed. Andrew Jack has a very impressive rear lat spread. One of the best in the lineup. Just lacks a little bit of, I don't know, uh, the lower half needs to be harder and grainier. Go to the rear double. And I don't want to say this is a mess for Gunter. He has so much hard, dense muscle here. It just seems to be placed together not the best. We kind of see he's tilted. Midsection kind of poking out there from the the left side. You can see it. You can see it. Whereas Andrew jacked his midsection. His midsection. Little tongue-tied doing these. You other YouTubers, you guys know what I'm saying. But yes, yes, Andrew Jack drawn out much more perfectly, just supreme, but as far as condition is concerned, kind of like Gunter. He's a little off kilter as far as the symmetry of the back is concerned, and this is the last I'll say of this, guys. So was Ronnie Coleman. So was... <laughs> These, those guys were a perfect match made in heaven. The abs and thigh, and we gotta hand it to Gunter. We have to give it to this big German. He brought the condition. The only thing wrong here is his pure genetics, which he has nothing to do with. That was his parents' fault. He doesn't have the best midsection. You can see, as far as genetics are concerned, Andrew Jack is supreme. Wow. That midsection, it's maybe one of the best in the bodybuilding annals of history. The history. Go look up and down the history of abs. Guy's incredible. He's a monster. And here's the most muscular. And maybe for another person, this ab setup would not be the best. Because he does have... Maybe if you put this six-pack on a smaller frame, yeah, it would be big. But he's so gosh darn wide and huge structurally that it, it just matches Gunter. Or uh, um, Andrew Jack, rather. Gunter, speaking of Gunter, he tilted a little bit thusly. It kind of takes away from the whole silhouette. Now here is a closer up shot. This hands on hips, I would absolutely give this to Gunter. And there is absolutely a, a lot of other shots that I would give to Gunter Schleerkamp. And definitely not based on aesthetics. Sheer, hard, grainy muscle. And that's how he did defeat Ronnie King Coleman at the Show of Strength 2002. Right after this Olympia, many people would say Gunter, who placed fifth. Gunter got fifth. Andrew Jack at 8th, that could be just as uh, much of a stretch of a ripoff, maybe. Mm. These two dudes, fan favorites for sure. Who do I think won? Who would I give the blue ribbon to in this one? Hmm. Very close, guys. Probably have to go with Andrew Jack. Due to the aesthetics. But man, oh man, if you guys comment and say Gunter won this one easily with condition... Maybe the judges would probably agree with you on that. But lately, lately, they've been awarding points to aesthetics. Very complete. Not too many weak shots at all. Gunter maybe needed to fix up that abs and thigh. But really, what more could he have done? He brought the condition. Brought the condition. Gunter show of strength. Slightly tighter. Slightly better. Maybe would have defeated Andrew Jack. But we're going to go with Jacked. We're going to go with Jacked. Here to begin your fan requested fair, fair, fair Friday. So hit thumbs up, guys. I want to see that Sean Ray, Lee Haney. And there's a couple of more ones. Ronnie Coleman. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. Damn, man.